so so here we are what another beautiful sunny day we are in Arundel Maine at Antiques USA we are right here on the corner on route one all the way around we are going inside this place is huge it's called Antiques USA there are hundreds of dealers in here and we are going to be treated to a feast of glass here we are and here we have the owners there's Tony Robin and Aria nice crew you guys take care and let's start down the uh, the case immediately here is a beautiful large cut glass pitcher with a cut flower leaves and a checker band around the top that handle looks to be applied yes beautiful piece there and it's only $75 moving down there's a great looking fire engine there yeah and some balls okay what do we have down here anchor hocking bubble seven bubble cups and eight saucers $39 those cups are great to use. I use an anchor hocking cup in the house all the time and I love them. Moving up, we have some yellow Vaseline glass footed leaf dishes. There's a set of six of them here. They are also beautiful. There's a cut glass bowl over here, round one with a Hob star in diamond pattern. Very nice. Moving up, there's a pretty mirror and a jewelry box there. Oh, nice porcelain bowl and a light fixture there. Gas light frame with shade. Looks like it's got an acid etch design on there. It's very nice. It's sitting next to a wild pine cone pyrex casserole how beautiful is that baby there we go very nice moving along here we have here's a water for the tumbler up bottle in front of a couple of beautiful vases there signed visna glass heavy signed they're $3.95 and $2.75 respectively. They're art glass pieces. How beautiful are those? And down here, we have an unusual chamber blown glass bottle. It's short and squat with a foot and a bulbous petal design. Very nice. It's a pair of Christmas ornaments there. They look like they're blown. They look like uh, clusters of berries there with, uh, with metal fixings to uh, help them stay on the tree. Over here, we have a crackle glass half pint milk bottle. How nice is that little guy there? I love seeing those little milk bottles when I'm out. It always reminds me of when they gave us milk when we were kids. Yeah, you've heard me yap that one before, right? Okay, let's look up here and that beautiful vase back there. It's lime green and white with a cone foot. I don't know any Libra. Oh, it's 62.50. It's very, very nice. It has a, a sort of a vertical. No, it doesn't. That's the light playing. I thought it had a it has windows. Uh, I thought it had a vertical band texture, but it doesn't. That's the light playing. Okay, over here. Here is, that looks like uh, a little spill there with a raised relief image of Goethe on it. I think it's a German philosopher. Small bottle there, Hood's bottle. Very, very nice. And moving down, there's a... There's a shot glass back there, a ruby shot glass, but there's a porcelain baby's head sitting in there, so we can't quite see that. 
and over there at the back also I see a little <clears throat> daisy and button baby's booty in glass. It's behind the bus there and uh, the children. There's an eye bath there, that's very nice. Indeed, perfume bottles, figurines, a nice mixture, very nice, absolutely moving down. There's some uh, teacup plates over there, the cobalt one on the top, and uh, underneath variations of glass. There's four there for the set, they're $33.50. And 50 cents how nice are those and then getting down here we have three tiny I don't know if they're shot glasses they're 1850 for the three and they're very nice this looks like uh, a Duncan Miller three head footed toothpick holder it does look like it has a little sustained a little ding on the rim but I can tell you for 1850 that's the first one of those I've seen in 20 years so ah uh, I think it's a buy there's some whiskey bottles back there a couple of clear ones and an amber one and down there is a uh, it's an orange slag glass figurine of uh, of a clown how very nice is that back there's a beautiful tea set and there's a little Tom Sawyer. And that looks like, oh, it's Mr. Pickwick from the Dickens. Coming around here. Oh, beautiful pink willow set there. Look at that. I can't not show it to you. How beautiful is this? It's only $295. Don't hurt each other running this way. Moving down. Some beautiful carnival glasses. There are six of them. That looks like some sort of flower there. I'm not super clever. Are those pansies? I don't know. Is it the man behind the curtain? I'm sorry? Is it the man behind the curtain? It is the man behind the curtain. What are you going to do with? So we have a carnival bowl right here. It's got flowers on there. Uh, yeah, and this here we have a cruet. Uh, it's uh, $29. <laughs> Down there, there's a beautiful Heise glass bowl. It's footed and it's $99. That is absolutely beautiful. There's some orange crush uh, bottles, soda. How nice is that? Yeah, indeed. Okay, here is some blue bubble. 51 pieces for $165. Instant collection. Yes, indeed. How nice is that? Moving up, we have some Royal Copenhagen. It's blue onion. Nice cut glass. Single handled nappy bowl. Signed a piece of Heise there. Handled compote there with a 2-4 octagonal foot. Yeah, that is very nice as well. Moving up, look at this beautiful satin glass two-handled vase. Very nice. It's $49. And in front of that is a hand-painted Victorian vase. That's overlay glass there, and uh, those look like crab apples or wild apples. At the back there, there's a blown glass pitcher or ewer. How beautiful is that? It's only $295. Very nice. Okay, moving around, we have some glass Lattice work, white glass, these are antiques. Lattice work, bowls. This one has enameled flowers on it. They look like morning glories to me. They're very, very nice. And over here, 
a patent glass pitcher and a patent glass well two pictures actually the smaller one is looks like uh, from a table set and the lar larger one looks like it's from uh, a, a drink set with matching tumblers moving down here we have a beautiful piece of blue crest from Fenton there a nice footed face with a double ruffled rim some jewelry and some nice books and some there's some presses down here some odds and sods yeah and over here is a beautiful antique opalescent bowl with a petal crimped rim how nice is that the feet are incorporated in the design i like the way that happens that bowl is only $29 and it is beautiful. Here is an early glass with bees and hives and stars and thistles. Yeah, how nice is that piece there? Beautiful plate. That may well be from Sandwich and Boston. Here's a little Master Salt, a Higby Master Salt. That's probably signed on the inside with a little Higby sign. Here's a pair of beautiful footed Finnish candle holders. The Finns make some beautiful crystal. Back here is a beautiful pair of enameled Victorian mercury glass blue vases. Feast your eyes, ladies and gentlemen on those yes indeed moving around oh there's a watercolor okay we have some tumblers down here oh these are stuart signed stuart 99 dollars there are six of those how nice are they yes indeed moving around here what are we seeing? Some very nice items, an eclectic mix, something for everybody. Moving down, there's an etched crystal paperweight at the back there. That seems to be very nice. Does it have a, a native warrior on his pony? Yeah, native on horseback. Yes, that's what it says. Moving down, and there's Heckle and Jekyll. Remember those guys? I can count to a hundred. Oh, I used to be able to. Oh, look at these guys. Flying A. Dog glass tumblers. Set of eight, $175. Beautiful pair of crystal single-footed candle holders. They are, in fact, Waterford. And over here, a pair of frosted shakers. Yeah, there's no tops to them. <coughs> they may be vases, actually. Uh, oh, you can't see them. I'm sorry, that thing is in the way. I'm looking at the sign and uh, trying to work out. They're very nice, but uh, perhaps they're just vases. Anyway, they're only nineteen dollars. They're uh, they're well worth that. I think they're. I think that these guys, those guys, are antique. I I I do. Uh, hmm. Very nice. I'd like to actually take a good look at them, but I'm filming right now, so we'll uh, we'll come back to that. Uh, an interesting collection. Of Native American dolls and artifacts up there and still more beautiful stuff here oh we're getting down there's a master salt there old one and a vintage cut glass vase there cut and frosted and a plinth there's a crystal compote back there also moving down and round there's a galleon a bottle there in the shape of a, 
an old galleon, nothing more. We have some comics there moving up. Beautiful Waterford snifter and a pair of Waterford wines and another pair of Waterford wines, two sets. And look at these beautiful guys. Look at the stems on those. Yeah, yellow elegant stems. Very nice, 175 takes the lot. There's some polar bears back there. Yes, indeed. And over here, we have Fostoria American. Two different types of goblets and some footed dessert cups. They're very nice. Yes. And moving down and around some beautiful teacups there. Most of those look English to me. Moving up. More nice porcelain, beautiful porcelain. Oh, looky here. Crackle decanter. That's ruby red, 125. Let's go and take a, a side look at this. That's an interesting piece. It's got a dimple design in it too. It's very nice. I particularly like that stopper. It's clearly original because you know, where would you find another one looking like that? Anyway, moving around, we have a couple of beautiful Pyrex stacking mix-in bowls. A blue one and a pink one. There's an old jadeite deco style vase and a collection of jewelry, porcelain and a little more jewelry and a few other uh, Odds and sods, some badges there. Moving around, there is a beautiful covered forest green Pyrex bowl with a lid, $75. How nice is that? Up here, we have a large yellow glass vase. I'm sure that was uh, hand blown. It's beautiful. It has a, a, a petaled ruffle rim and it has a dimple design. That's quite a, an interesting coffee pot there. Okay, yes indeed. Moving around, there is coin glass covered jar. How nice is that? Coin glass, I think that's Fostoria coin glass there. That's clear, comes in a number of colors. That's a beautiful piece there. Some more crystal uh, goblets there, $50. And a Meccano set for the boy in you. Down here, series of uh, vases and perfume bottles and goblets. It's a beautiful silver overlay cobalt single candlestick holder. There's a decanter back there and a beautiful old, uh, looks like a pewter coffee pot with a, with a partridge on the finial. It's a nice controlled bubble overlay vase there, ruby and clear. And tucked in the corner here, we have uh, a Waterford paperweight. Okay. Oh, there's a tiny owl down there for all of you owl collectors. Yeah, there it is. So we're now gonna move over here and take a look at this set of vintage ruby red stems. 275 takes the whole collection. Let's just take a look at those up the back there, the tall ones and the short ones. Yes, and moving down, parfaits and champagnes and uh, cocktails. How nice is that set? Moving up, there's a pink pair of uh, footed single can holders with Bobesh there. They're $99.
Oh, and down at the bottom are some uh, extra, some extra glasses from our set. Maybe there's not enough room there. That's just why they're there. This is a beautiful pair of art glass vases. Yes, I just love the way they look like they have been overlaid. They've got gl glistening emerald green. I'm sure that has an official color that I don't know about. Those look old. Looks to be to have had enameling on the top there. Some gold and flower design, which is clearly beautiful. How nice are those? Yes. Okay, and we're gonna move along. There's Buddha there to wish us all good luck. And a pair of tiny cut glass cordials there. Very nice. Some cameras down the bottom there. Indeed. There's a donkey decanter. And some fresca, uh, a set, a pack, unopened fresca, one pint bottles. It's a very nice vase there. And there's vintage tumblers there, Indiana glass there with the raised bird design. There's five of them, they're very nice. There's a Fostoria American pattern novelty top hat there. And also doubles as a violets vase. Westmoreland checkerboard creamer and open sugar. Very nice and over the back there is a green glass cruet with an applied clear glass handle and a matching clear glass stopper. Very nice. Oh, and look here. This is a silver overlay. Uh, they, they looks like open poppies. Very nice. Silver overlay. It's a cheese plate and cheese compote. Cracker plate and cheese compote. Behind that's a patent glass water bottle. Very, very nice. And there's a sitting compote next to that. That glass looks crystal and it looks to have been cut yes down here oh there's a signed check plate i'll show it to you because it's beautiful but it isn't american i don't know anything about it this is a very nice set decanter with four wine glasses it is enameled and that is clearly well over a hundred years old. It's got little pink rosebud designs. Those were incredibly popular between 1905 and 1915. Here's a very nice white glass lace edge plate and somebody has decorated it. How nice is that? There's a tiny bottle there, but the light is shining on it awkwardly there. Maybe you can see it there and read what it says. There, it's very nice. Moving along, we have an amethyst hobnail barber bottle. How do you like that? And it's sitting next to a glass basket. It's rectangle. It has a billowed pillow diamond design and it has a clear handle. It's very nice. Down here is another milk plate that's been decorated. Lace edge also. I went a little too far. And back there is beautiful piece. I think that pattern is Cascade and uh, it's very nice. $99. That's 15 inch platter there and it has four feet. Moving down here are four 
very nice carnival glass cups. They look to be orange tree by Fenton to me. I like them very much. Moving along. Okay, and we have uh, their Dansk Danish shot glasses. Yes, some older glass back there, very nice. Yeah, and, and that vase there is uh, cut to clear, burgundy cut to clear. Moving down, yep, yeah. there's an old uh, jar from a science lab or uh, uh, an old drugstore vase, uh, a bottle with stopper. There's a mid-century covered container there in clear and a beautiful Murano green art glass centerpiece. I guess you could use that as an ashtray if you felt so inclined. Here is Candlewick. How nice is that? Some oval snack sets with the cups that sit in the indentation. There's a set of six and they are $65. There's a beautiful set of a creamer and sugar with a sterling silver foot, open-handled sugar, the creamer, and that looks to be an acid etch design. It's very, very nice. There's a tuber and moving right along here we find, here's a piece of frosted federal glass from the 1950s. I think that pattern is called Pioneer. And then right here, we have a cut glass cruet with a cut glass stopper. And it is also $22. Okay, right here, we've got a, an amber daisy and button novelty top hat violets vase and back there is a beautiful decanter with a heart shaped stopper let's see if there's anything what does it say heart stopper decanter 26 dollars it's very nice i'm not going to pick it up and disturb it there's some antique blue tumblers there there are four of them they are very nice for thirty dollars look at that moving down here with a pair of hobnail decanters from the 30s how very nice are they also moving things around any more glass and that's on the other side we'll get to that on another day there's some tumblers back there double rocks tumblers with uh, with a wheat cut and uh, sitting next to that is a it looks like a mid-century leaf shaped divided nibbles tray there with a looks like a sterling silver foot here's an array of wheaten bottles in green and blue and amber amethyst and clear very nice okay and we are going to move around the corner and we've hit a beautiful book selection here some very nice books and postcards and there's a great set of eight railways stan musical glasses oh Rawlings, that's a company, right? They're very nice. Their own carry case there. They look to be very 50s there. $160 for the set. Pocono, a couple of Pocono smoky uh, goblets. They look like they're from the 70s. They're very nice there. And uh, nail clippers. Somebody had a collection of nail clippers and bottle openers down there. Yes, moving around, there's more bottle openers and an eclectic bunch. There's a cute little squirrel there. I think that might be a vase. That might be, uh, yeah, it's very cute. Look at this beautiful enameled footed vase there. 
with the fan rim it does look like it sustained a little damage that's too bad but still an an attractive and decorative piece moving around some kitty cars and some trays and some implements back there magazines we have the man from uncle i remember those guys